Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. If you don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So now you know, if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add the customer login icon in Shopify store. And I will show you actually both how to add the icon on the header as well as adding it on the notification bar. Because lately or just yesterday, I think one of my subscribers did request me how to add the register icon on the notification bar. Unfortunately, that's not possible. I mean, it is, but it's really complicated to find a trick that will work for every Shopify team. Because every Shopify team uses a different coding for the notification bar unlike other sections on the Shopify store. So finding a trick to add the button on the notification bar is really tricky. However, in this video, as I said, I will show you how to completely transform the notification bar into a button, an actual button that the customer can easily click on it and it will take you to the register, not the login or to register a new account on your Shopify store. And you can actually change that to the login. You can just copy, change the link for it. I will show you how to do that. So no worries, in this video, I will show you how to add the customer login icon on the header of your Shopify store, as well as adding it on the notification bar. And as I said, this is actually a request by one of my subscribers on a lot of videos, actually, even I think seven of my last videos are requests from my subscribers. So again, if you have any questions, any video requests, drop me a comment below. I will be happy to make a video for you just like this one that you are watching right now. So the ball is yours as they say. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. By the way, before we start, as you can see, the Shopify store right here is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on. And everything you see in the Shopify store, including the video banner right here, as well as transparent header with the video is actually playing underneath the header, as well as the hover color on the menu and the hover effect, as you can see, even changing the underline that shows up beneath the menu after, after you hover over them, it does show an underline beneath it. I did show a video on how to remove that and even uh, changing the cart icon in here. If you want to change this cart icon with any icon you want, I did make a video on how to do that and even removing it actually or replacing it with the text. For example, a text in here that says card. I did make a video on how to do that. A lot more, not just this. As I said, over 80 videos and more on the way on how to customize your Shopify store and make it unique and branded. So if you want to go from zero to hero when it comes to customizing Shopify store and making your store unique and branded, make sure to check out my channel. And every code I do share, I do provide the link for it in the description box completely free. You don't have to pay for it. You just need to click on it and it will show you the code that I do share in my videos. And the only thing I'm asking for, just a like please, just like the Bernie says. That's the only thing I'm asking for. Just wait until you see if the videos actually help you out. If it does, drop me a like. It will take you like a millisecond to click on it and it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys. And again, without any more talking, let's just get to it. I did talk too much about the things I do, I apologize. So I will keep this page open right here and we will do the trick and come back in here and see if the trick works or not. So obviously, the first thing you're going to do is head over to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the settings right here at the bottom left corner of the Shopify dashboard. Click on it and it will show you the settings for your Shopify store. And I might have to blur out some information in here. It does show my information and my address. Anyway, the second thing you're going to do is make sure to access customer accounts in here, as you can see. Simply click on customer accounts and it will show you this option right here as the first one. It says accounts in online store and check out. After that, click on edit button right here. Simply click on it and click on show login link in the header of Shopify and at check out. Simply enable this or toggle it and it will show you these two menus in here. The classic customer accounts and the new customer accounts. And the difference between them is that this one, the new uh, customer accounts is they don't have to actually uh, sign each time they will need to uh, log in not with a passport but actually to a, a one-time call that will be sent to their emails and personally i do prefer the classic one so keep this uh, option right here and after that click on the save button right here at the top right corner simply click on it and after the changes were saved let's just reload the page and see if that will work actually and it will be displaying icon in here on the left of the cart icon right here so the customers can easily click on it and will be login. And the next thing, as I said, I will show you how to set it, not here, but actually 
even in here on the notification bar and I mean both actually the login or the register so the customer will see the register your account in here text and once he click on it and it will take him to the registering page and then just reload the page and see if the icon will show up actually and here we go as you can see it does show up so if I click on it it will take me to the login page as you can see and let's just click on create account in here simply click on it and it will show you the create account and this is what we need so make sure to copy the link for this one right here so let's just right click and copy after you did copy the link for it get back to Shopify dashboard and click on online store from here and after that click on customize button for your Shopify team and after that click on the notification bar right here simply click on it and change the text to register here for example or something like that and make sure to type in anything you want just just for demonstration and the color in here you can change the color or something like that and just keep it white like this and in here it says link as you can see simply click here and paste in the link for the register page if you want the link to set the link for the login page simply get back in here like this and copy this link which it says login so just copy this link and paste it in here instead in my case i want to set it as a register after that click on the save button right here and let's just get back in here or reload the page and it will be displayed as you can see register here and once the customer can actually see the arrow in here with an animation once they hover over it if i click on it like to just the customer will do it will take them to create an account and that's exactly how to create the customer account login icon on both actually the header as well as the notification bar just like the subscriber requested and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i take my job it is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you in the next one